Jenna, those eyes. You are the queen of eye acting, young lady. Uh, I wouldn't say that. Oh, but you are. Those oh. eyes tell so much. How do you do it? I feel like it? your eyes right now are. You're, so you're kind of showing me up no, right now. No, no, you are so intense. <laughs> How do you do it? What's the trick? When I shoot, I black out. I have no idea what's going on. I'm not sure if I took the director's notes or not. You say action. I don't remember anything. I feel like cut. I kind of come to again. The job is just listening. So I think, you know, depending on, you know, just watching other people. And, you know, sometimes they do it differently. Sometimes you react differently. Yeah. Sometimes you feel a certain way uh, that wasn't the same that you felt 20 minutes ago. I feel like, um... It's all just very spontaneous, see what happens. Well, can we be a little spontaneous right now? Can I give you some emotions and you demonstrate your different emotions with your eyes? Okay, all I'm right. gonna do it with I'm, you. I'm very excited about watching okay. you do it. <laughs> okay, how about this? Anger. Fear. This is so weird. <laughs> <laughs> you got it, girl. Should I go like this? Yeah, fear. Happiness. I love it, I love it. So good, so good. That, those eyes tell a story. Eyes they are, are you okay? You're I was good? so happy. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't like any other ghost face. What is this place? It's a shrine. Scream 6, I mean, there's so many references to past sequels, which was so exciting and so satisfying for fans. How exciting and satisfying was it for you as actors to pay homage to these sequels and also to film in Ghostface's shrine? Oh. It's really cool. I yeah, mean, was... all the Easter eggs are us as actors, we get excited when we see them on set. And yeah. Because it's all mostly things that the directors have thought of or like the production designer has thought of and like we get to set and we are also like the fans that are noticing them and getting excited because if it exactly. makes it on camera, then that means that the hardcore fans are gonna be looking at all these things. It's like nostalgic and it makes you, I don't know, I feel like whenever I notice a little detail in a movie, I get excited because yeah. I feel like I'm a part of it With like you know like they're talking directly to me and we are you know yeah. like these movies are very interactive with the audience so it's part of the game so so good I'm ready for I'm ready for number seven are y'all well we'll yeah. hopefully see yeah, yeah we'll see, see. How, we'll see how this one goes yeah <laughs> Still alive as a jam, though, I got to say. Yeah, she was cool for that. That came out of nowhere. Yeah, we seriously? We didn't know, yeah, then the directors told us. Yeah. Even to be able to do press and stuff with her was really interesting. That's she's the so perfect sweet. pairing, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Hello, Jenna. Get a job. Stay away from her. Scream and Demi Lovato. Yeah. It makes a lot of sense. Yeah. It somehow feels like the fact that there's an original song for the movie feels big. Mm hmm. And still alive. Y'all are still alive. Yeah. <laughs> the For now. So we think. Yeah. yeah, without a doubt. So the torch was passed to you all, the newbies, and Scream 5, of course. Scream 6, you are full-fledged carrying that torch, and y'all are running with it. So did it add an extra element of pressure this time around? You are now the faces of this franchise. I feel like there was almost more liberty, because we had already established the characters in the last film, and I, I think it was just more time to kind of elaborate and read more dimensional characters. And then also, it's um, we've seen this world before, and I felt like this was the chance to just kind of take it bigger and better. I feel like we got a lot of the nerves out of the way. As for me yourself, personally. I had yeah, a lot of pressure. <laughs> yeah? yeah? How so, Melissa? It's just a lot, you know, coming into a franchise that has been around for so long, it's so beloved, and mm -hmm. people love certain characters, and um, they feel a certain ownership over it. Kirby, this is making a move. <laughs> which mm -hmm. is, you know, very real and very true because it's thanks to the fans that we've, you know, that the franchise has been alive for so long. So, I don't know, I do, I, I did feel a lot of pressure, but then, you know, being on set with everyone, that kind of like dissipates and you forget about it it's because we're having comforting. so much fun. Of course, the survivors from Scream 5 yeah. back together again. Did it feel a little bit maybe like a summer camp? type of situation on steroids, I guess you could say. Totally. Definitely. It almost, if, if work didn't get stressful sometimes, it, would, it almost feels like not work. Yeah. Because you're yeah. just seeing your friends and you guys get to make something exciting together and give people a good time and you're all doing what you're passionate about and I feel like because we know each other so well and love and respect each other so much, we when we feed off of each other, it's it's really nice. Yeah, and, we, and it is a special group of people because when you're shooting a movie, 
it can be so exhausting mm-hmm. and that you like literally just want to go to bed. I know that that's what happens to me sometimes. When we're together, we like want to hang out after we're done. Yeah. We want to have dinner together. We want to go out on the weekends. We want to just be with each other and have fun and play mafia. Like, you know, yeah. we do, it is a genuine love for each other. So it does feel like summer camp. Yeah, I mean, it totally resonates on screen that you guys are thick as thieves and you're super tight. I loved it. Loved, love this film. And we got a little behind the scenes fun action of you guys uh, while you were on set, E.T. did. The last scream that we did was probably the greatest time I've ever had on a set. Just truly the most wonderful, sweetest cast, crew. So I think that anytime you get to work with people that you love, you're one, you're very, very lucky. I feel very, very fortunate. But then two, it's, um, I came into this job knowing it was just gonna be a good time and it, it, it wasn't gonna feel like work. Jenna, you were in a fridge, y'all oh, yeah. were doing some funny like Instagram video, another time you were. Don't spoil the movie. Or else. Balancing tortillas on your head. So you try to keep it light and fun in between takes because things can get a little heavy while filming, I imagine. Now I actually do stuff like that to scare myself and kind of keep myself on that edge of, you know, I tell you, you know, I don't want to drop anything on the floor. I feel yeah. like in the fridge, it's really isolating as soon as the door is closed and it's dark in there and it's cold and it's, distant. And, yeah, she yeah. she uses it to get into character. Seriously? Yeah, seriously. Getting in the fridge. Yeah. Are you guys Well, because it's like it's me? a moment of resetting right before take. So there's no distractions and no anything. It's just you with your thoughts and you get the time to really amp yourself up. Girl, that's some method acting right there. Almost. Um, tell yeah. me this though. Leave Those, it in the fridge. Yeah. Just Melissa, you are Jenna's big movie sister. You know, how excited have you been for her seeing the success of Wednesday? How the hell did you get that oversized violin out the window? I had an extra hand. Of course, the Globes, the SAG Awards. I mean, I mean, she deserves everything. She is so talented and it feels so right that like she's getting all the recognition, but I'm also very protective of her. And I know that it's like, it can get crazy. So it's, you know, I'm glad that we're all here together and that she gets to have this kind of refuge in the middle of all the craziness. Yeah. But she's killing it. And I'm so excited to see her on SNL. OMG. How pumped are you about that? I'm trying to take it one day at a time yeah. right now. But it's nice doing it, yeah, with everyone else. As you know, I, I am nervous but excited at the same time just because I've been a fan of the show for such a long time. But it's also, I've never really done sketch comedy like that before and mm-hmm. um, I think it'll be really quick pace. But I'm excited to be in front of an audience. I feel like you yeah. learn so much when you do theater and stuff like that. So that'll be a nice change of pace. Without a doubt, might we see Aubrey Plaza pop back up into the mix? <laughs> I have no idea. I, sh- I feel like she could pop up anywhere. She could. She could be behind that door. I mean, right there. She used to work in that building. I think she still has access. <laughs> yeah, so. I know.